In this video, we're going to show you how to calculate a volume in 10 steps using photogrammetry software, Agisoft Metashape. So the first step is to select and add your photographs into Agisoft. Step two, select the correct coordinate system. This has to be the same coordinate system as your ground control point. So you can double check in the top left window to see if your photographs have the correct coordinates converted. So step three, click on workflow and align photographs. You generally want the highest option here, but we're using medium for this job. So right now the software is creating lots of tie-in points. This is going to help splice the photos together. So when finished, you will see a number of tie-in points. This is the start of your model. You can also check in the top left photo window the current error without ground control points. Step four is to import your ground control points and this has to be a CSV file. Check if your ground control points are in the correct format Press OK and then select Yes to All. So now you can see some markers have appeared in the model, but also a lot of error is present because these markers have not yet been aligned and updated into the model. So step five is where you align your markers to your ground control points. So any photograph now that has a white flag contains a marker that needs to be aligned to a ground control point. So after you've moved two markers, you'll notice that the rest of the photographs will automatically move their markers close to the ground control points. Right click on a ground control point and select filter photos by markers. So as you can see, each photograph has aligned itself around the marker. This obviously makes it easier to click through each photograph and align them quicker. Go through and check each photograph and repeat this process for every ground control point that you have. So for this example we have only two which is not optimal. To get better results you're going to want at least 10 ground control points.
So once everything has been aligned, you will want to then select the update button. So once you've pressed update, you will notice that the error has been transferred now from the ground control point window into the original photograph window. So this error is residual and it can be further reduced by optimizing your cameras. So select the optimize button, select all of your cameras and OK. So once the software has finished optimizing, you will see a total residual error in your ground control point window. So once all error has been removed from the model, you can then continue with your workflow and build a dense cloud, a DEM and an ortho mosaic. The next step is to calculate the volume, so go to the DEM model. Select the polygon tool and draw a polygon around the stockpile area you want to measure. You can flick over to your ortho mosaic to see if you're drawing in the correct area. To find the volume, go back to the DEM window, right click inside your shape, select measure, Click on the volume tab and you'll see the volume. And there we have 10 steps to find the volume of a stockpile using Agisoft Metashape. Thank you for watching.